this uh, whole theme of intergenerational equity is um, one of the distinctive contributions of the of the book, and it's controversial. Uh, it and it can be misunderstood. I think a lot of people will look at our argument and say, "Do you mean you're going to take benefits away from the elderly and give them to younger families and their children?" Uh, that's not what we mean. We're talking about slowing the growth of benefits for the elderly, gradually phasing in some policy changes. Uh, it shouldn't affect anybody right away. Everyone should have a chance to plan for it. But if we started doing it now, uh, it could be done in a humane way and a way which would make our society more productive because those resources that would otherwise be earmarked for the elderly out in the future, we would begin to gradually invest in uh, younger families and their children. That would make them more productive. That would make the tax revenue that comes from their incomes uh, more sufficient uh, to pay for the benefits that eventually younger people are going to need when they retire. So um, it's it's got to happen in our view, uh, but it is going to happen to happen slowly, and it is going to be very difficult to. Um, make it happen politically.